So first step is you prepare the clay and um, equalize the moisture in the clay by wedging it. So that's what I'm doing right here and it gets all the clay particles going in the same direction. Then on the wheel, the next step is centering the clay and so I'm coning it up and pushing it down and that's forcing the clay to be exactly in the center of the wheel so that it's ready to be thrown. So then the next step is pushing in the middle to create a depression, pulling it out to create the interior dimension of the cup and then pulling up the walls. After that, you can start refining your shape and your contour. It'll need to dry for a day or two um, to leather hard stage, which means there's still a good amount of moisture in the clay, but it's firm enough it's not going to be deformed when you work with it. And that's the magic moment to put on the handle, which you do by first forming the handle, then attaching the top part of the handle to the cup with slip, and slip is a mixture of just clay and water, and then this is how you pull the handle, by keeping your hands wet and making pulling strokes, and attaching it at the bottom, and then you're done. It'll need to dry slowly for quite a while. When the pieces are completely dry, they can be fired. And so this next step is the bisque firing. So after that, it's ready to be glazed. Glaze is basically a form of glass. And then glaze firing is much hotter. After that firing has cooled, you can open the kiln and there are the finished pieces.